Okay, in this video, I'm going to explain about the statistics for PMR. I mean, actually, this is a very basic st statistic for Form 3 students. However, I think this video is quite important for those Form 4, Form 5 students if they are, they are not scoring very well in statistic chapter for Form 4, Form 5 or in IMAX student also. Yes, so in this video, I'm going to discuss three major things which you're going to learn in P for PMR exam. I think this three is quite basic, but then it's quite important also. Okay, so what you're going to learn in uh, Statistic 2, which is from 3 1, you're going to learn three important things. One is we call it mean, and then we got mode and medium. Okay, we got means, mood, uh, mean, mode, and median. Okay, what is the meaning for mean? Mean is something like average. Okay, mean like, okay, if you got five number, what is the average number for it? If let's say you got five person, um, uh, all is like different height, maybe you can, you want to calculate the average height for the five students, so you're going to like, plus all the height and then divide by 5 okay something like this okay this one is average mode what is the mode most is the one who have the highest frequency higher frequency means what higher frequency means actually uh, the number it come it come out many times okay the number it will come out many times means actually the mode means the highest frequency one okay medium is something like middle what the middle value for it we call it medium okay okay if you understand about this one maybe i give some easy example for this one okay let's say we got one group of data okay i use the ungrouped data first okay, let's say we got three and then we got five and then we got maybe we got five we got six and then we got seven and then we got a uh, nine okay we got five number over here. If let's say, let's say we want to find means, it's, it's very easy. Right? Means is like total number over here, we have one, two, three, four, five different number. So n is equals to, uh, okay, let me add, yeah, maybe add one more number. Ah, add two more number. Let the data easy to read. Okay, now we got one, two, three, four, five, six. We got seven number. So the number n we have seven. Okay, now we want to find means. Okay, how to find means? Means will equals to something like average, right? Mean now you got seven number. We want to find the average. It's very easy. Sum of x divided by n. Of course, this is a formula. So first, what is the meaning by x? Means something. This is a x one, x two, x three. Mean you got a different. Maybe this is x one, this is x two, x three, x four, x five, x six, x seven. Okay, sum of x. The this symbol stand for sum of. Mean all plus together. Mean we got x one to x seven, right? So we sum all the x divided by n. N is we. How many number do we have over here? We have seven number. So mean is very easy to find. Three plus five plus six plus seven plus nine plus ten. Oh plus. Plus nine plus ten plus ten. Divided by seven. Mean all number you just sum them together. So over here you got actually you got uh, you got ten, twenty, thirty. 40, 50. Okay, 50 divided by 7. Okay, then you can get the value for mean. Okay, mean is very simple. Just all sum together and then you divide it by n. Okay, okay, what is the mode? Mode is the highest frequency one. Means you have to find the number he will come out many times one. Means he come out the most, most time one. Okay, so over here, the highest frequency one obviously is 10. Because every number you only have three, you have one, five, you have one, six, you have one, only ten, you have two. So mode over here will be ten because ten is the highest frequency. High, highest frequency. 
Okay, and then medium is something very simple. M medium is the number on the middle. So actually you have seven number over here. So if using the logic, okay, here you actually you have three number over here. You got another three number over here. This one is your middle number. So we know the mid uh, medium actually will equals to seven. However, we should have some methods to calculate medium, right? So the method is something like n plus 1 divided by 2 th okay th is something like which one okay maybe the first one second one third one okay it's the th so in this case we how, how many number do we have n stands for how many number right? we have seven number so it will be seven plus one divided by two th so this one actually is eight divided by two is the fourth okay mean mean the fourth number actually is the medium number so one two three four so this is the medium number okay this is the first second third and fourth one so this is the formula to calculate medium and then this is the formula to calculate mean and mode normally we do not have any formula for it okay okay yes let me explain something different from medium right no, because okay medium because now you got odd number it's very easy to like straight away you can see that how about you got uh you got even number uh okay let's say we got three five six seven nine and ten okay now actually we we got a six number n equal to 6 is even number if we divide this one into a 3 divide this one into a 3 we couldn't find any, any number on the middle okay i say medium formula is what is n plus 1 divided by 2 th now it's 6 so you got 7 divided by 2 th so actually this one will give you 3.5 3.5 is the first one second one third third point five somewhere over here so normally in even number when you got 3.5 th mean you have to take two number nearest to the the middle one plus together divided by two so over here we got six and seven so the medium will equal to six plus seven divided by two this is the median value we will got 6.5 okay this formula this formula is help you to find which one which one is the medium value however this method is to find the values of, of the medium because this one you can give you only the first one is the medium the second one is the medium or the third one is the medium but then you when you count one two three or first second third the third one you have to write out the value then that one only consider is the medium because a lot of students make mistake over here is like they will write the median is 3.5 but then over here the median is not 3.5 the median actually is 6.5 this one just tell you tell you so so you so you can just calculate 1 2 3 3.5 is over here and then you have to find out the value because the value over here is the me median value so same same cases for this one when you count out the fault mean you have to find out what is the median value in the fault is 1 2 3 4 Okay, so this is a medium. So the medium value is not 4. This is not the value. This is just to help you find out maybe something like ranking. Okay? Okay, if you understand about this one, let's have a look on, on the some of the past year questions. So because I didn't write the things out, so I'm going to zoom in to help you see the question easily so yeah just let me zoom in the question okay for example and okay, now let's see let me zoom in a little bit more okay we go question by question okay let, okay, let us start at question number seven first okay for, que for question number seven what mentioned over here is he said the mean the mean mass of the 35 real club member is 48 kg a new member with with the mass of 66 kg join the club calculate the mean mass in kg of the member of the club okay so now okay this one is something like okay now you have how many mem member you have 30 
five member. Okay. So, from this example, we know actually the number of people we have over here is 35. And then, given that, the means is actually 48. Okay. We learned about the formula for mean just now, right? The formula for means just now tell us that means actually equal to sum of x divided by n. Now we got mean is 48. And then we do not have sum of x. Mean, what is the total when I sum of the 35 Leo Club member? But then we have the n. We, don't, we know total is 35. So we can find what is the total marks for the 35 member by solving this equation. So sum of x actually equals to 48 multiple 35. 48 multiple 35. We got 1680. This is the sum of x. Okay, right now. Right now, he tell you another information. What's the another information? He said, another person with the mass 66 kg joined the club. Okay, so this is the total. So now got another person with the 66 kg joined. So the total will plus another 66 kg. So you're going to plus 66. You got 1746 is the new sum of total. Mean now, the total person for n will become just now 35 we'll plus another one right we become 36 so now sum of 36 people will give you actually 1746 kg so now he asks you to find the new means means is very easy word so when you want to find a new means the same thing sum of x divided by n what's the sum of x for right now will be 171746 okay this is divided by the new means, the new number will be 36 because plus another person already. Right? So you just press the calculator divided by 36, you got 48.5 kg. So this one will be the new means, which is 48.5. 48.5, so answer will be A. Okay, it is not really hard. Okay, let's maybe let's have a look on the second one. Okay, the second one he said the table below show the height of the groups of the student. Okay, so you got different height. So what's the meaning for frequency over here? When the height 180 frequency is eight means what? Mean actually you got you got eight student with the height 150. So if I if you write in the data, will mean something is 150, 150, 150, you got Eight student of 150 so he actually grouped them in this way so you must understand what is the meaning of frequency frequency means actually you got eight students is 150 you got three students is 155 you got five students is 160 okay you must understand the table now he asked you to find a median okay the median just now I mentioned what is the formula for the median okay the formula for median will be n plus 1 divided by 2 th to find out which one is the median. Now we have to find n. What is the n? We have to sum up together. Actually here got 10, 21. Do you see? 10, 21. So n now I got from the table is 21. So 21 plus 1 is 22 divided by 2. So actually it's 11 th means now I know which number is the 11 so you have to think where the 11 actually located at so the 11 this is 8 11 actually plus 3 11 is located at 155 so I know actually the median is 155 that's all so as long as you understand what is the meaning when you got, got the 11 mean, mean the yeah you got the 11 th mean actually the median will locate us at the, this is a frequency one. So if I write 150, 150, 150, and then 155, you will calculate the 11 number actually is 155. Okay, I hope you can understand. Okay, so it's, it's not really difficult. So okay, yeah, let's have a look at question number nine. Okay, he says the mean age for the, okay, the mean age for Navalan 
Santi and their four children is twenties, is twenty six years. Okay, mean age, mean actually now you get how many person? One person, two person, plus another four children. Total n will be six. And then he tell you means is actually twenty six years. All right. So the mean age for four children is fourteen. Okay, this is the mean for six for six person. So actually, he say the mean age for four children. Okay, now I write the children is fourteen. Okay, this one is for children. Okay, the top one actually for children and parent. Okay, so now what he want calculate the mean age for Navalan and Santi. Okay, so now he he ask you calculate the mean age for Navalan Santi. So very simple. This one is for four children, right? So you just calculate what is the total, what is the total age for these four children, minus the total for six person because this is two parent plus four children. Because after you minus out the four children, you will only left two parent. You just divided by two. You can get the mean age for Navalan and Santi. Okay, so I'm going to solve this one right now. So it's very simple. So I calculate the. Okay, this one will become. Okay, okay. What's the mean formula? Mean formula. Okay, this is a symbol for mean. Ah, I write the short form because I want to save time. Okay, will become sum of x divided by n. So, okay. For children first, okay. Children sum a uh, means is given is fourteen. Sum of x we do not know. We know n actually is four. So you just multiply. Sum of x actually will give you fifty six. Okay, means fifty six kg. Ah, sorry, this is not kg. Fifty six years is for four children. Okay, now we also calculate what is the total years for the six. Ah, for six person, for the six person. Okay, so I using the same formula. Is twenty six will equal to sum of x divided by six. So it's just six multiple twenty six. Twenty six multiple six. You got one hundred fifty six. So sum of x is one hundred fifty six years. Mean total include both parent and four children is one five six. And then sum of the children over here, we have fifty six years. So it's very simple. So you want to calculate the average is you just minus out. You use one five six minus fifty six. Then you can get Santi and you can get Santi and Navalan. So it's one hundred years. This is for Santi and the Navalan. So he want to know about the mean, right? So this is the total. This is consider sum of x, ah. Because this is the total for two parent, but for two Sandy and Navalan. Okay, so he want to find out mean will equal to sum of x divided by n. Sum of x now is one hundred. N is two percent only, so will be fifty years. Okay, so the answer will be fifty, which is C. Okay, as long as you understand what is the meaning for mean, actually it's very easy for you to do. Okay, let's have a look at the question in eleven. See, this one is pretty simple because you say, okay, the table below show the numbers of the medal won. So actually, in number of medal, like, okay, so, so one means zero means actually you didn't won any medal. You got three three time, and you won one medal. You got two time. You won four medal. You got five time, and yeah, okay. Now, what he mentioned over here, he said the mode of the numbers medal won is three. Okay, you must understand. Mode means what? Highest frequency. So he say highest frequency for the number matter one is three. Means actually he say that you see a three here. Three here will get the highest frequency. So we are going through all the frequency over here. Mean I know x must bigger than six because this one is the highest frequency. If it equal to six, then x is not considered the highest frequency. So I going to go through the answer. The highest than six one, we only have one answer, which is D. D is seven. Okay, if you put the seven into the X, we can see yes. So the mode for the number one is three because three you have the higher frequency seven. Okay, this is the meaning for mode. Okay, yeah, I hope this video can help you understand better about mode, mediums, and mean. Okay, actually it's not really hard, but then yeah, you just need to understand about that. Anyways, thanks for watching the video.